Hi, welcome to Wholeheartedly for the Lord Bible Journaling with Sherry. Today's process video will be this beautiful good news kit called Shake It Off. And I will be in the book of Mark, chapter 6, verse 11. And I'll be using my new Illustrated Faith Gospels Bible, journaling Bible. So I'm excited to use this. And please pardon the position of my camera. I did not realize that my phone, I'm filming from my phone today. I didn't realize that it was kind of crooked, but still, nevertheless, you will be able to see the video. Thank you for watching. And remember, if I can Bible journal, so can you. Take care. Before I get into the text or the video, I want to show you what I'll be working with. I will be using this stencil here from By the Well for God. I've been dying to use it, so I thought I would give it a try since it has something to do with shaking it, shaking the dust off your feet and moving along. So I wanted to use that kind of cobblestone rocks looking stencil and also use my Distress inks from Tim Holtz. It turned out well. I was a little nervous, but it turned out okay. I'm in Matthew chapter 6, verse 11, and it reads, And if any place will not welcome you or listen to you, leave that place and shake the dust off your feet as a testimony against them. When you get an opportunity, just read the verses, a few verses before and after. And here we see that for context. So here we see that Jesus is sending out his 12 disciples to go out and preach the gospel or preach the gospel of repentance. And he had given them some instructions to do. And one of the main instructions, which is our Bible kit for here, was for them to go to any place. And if they didn't welcome them or listen to them, to leave it. Just shake the dust off of their feet as a testimony against them. And that is such a powerful scripture because I don't know about you, but there were times when I would get frustrated that people would not receive the message of Christ. And that is not my call. That is not my call. Salvation is 100% God and God alone. My role in the task of this whole walking with Christ is to let my light so shine before men, to live for Christ before men, to glorify God in my life and before others. As far as them receiving or accepting or rejecting the gospel of Jesus Christ, that's between their soul and the Lord. My job is to plant a seed and keep it moving. And Jesus told them in essence, don't get frustrated. This is a testimony against them. And it reminds me of Samuel when Samuel was frustrated because he told the people of everything that Saul was going to do to them. And yet they still wanted a king. But the Lord told him, they're not rejecting you, they're rejecting me. So beloved, when we minister to people who are unsaved, when we try to drop nuggets of spiritual wisdom with people who are unsaved, because we know Christ is the answer, we know that his word is the answer, and they reject it, they're not rejecting us. They're rejecting Christ. They're rejecting God. And he says, shake the dust off of your feet and move on. This is going to be a warning against them. And culturally speaking, Jews in those times, if they went into a land that was a Gentile land, they did not bring into Judea or their holy land the dust and the dirt that they treaded upon into their holy land. It was considered as something that was a contempt. It was something that was a condemnation against them. And so Jesus used that same idea of it's a testimony against them. They were presented with the gospel. They were given an opportunity to repent and they refused it. Let it go and keep moving because we have places to go. You have places to go. I have places to go. And people who will receive a word from the Lord. Again, it's not our job to make them receive it, God has to prepare a man's heart to receive his word. And if they don't receive it, shake the dust off of your feet and keep moving. And that's something that I have to encourage myself time and time again when people reject the word of God. And that goes for people who are believers too, because we have many people in the Christian arena who will believe everything else that someone says concerning God in their lives, but will not receive 
the engrafted word of God that he left for us as instruction, guidance, reproof, admonition, comfort, all of those things that we need, he's left it for us in his word. So even with believers, we have to shake the dust of our feet and keep going and pray that one day that they will see that the word of God is our final authority for what we believe and how we are to live. Thank you for watching. I hope you are inspired and encouraged to shake the dust off your feet and keep it moving. And I was so happy to be working in my TN once again. It's been a while since I've done an entry in it. So I was so glad to use the extras here. Take care.